What's up everybody? John Eric Paula here with my MMA news and uh Hey, 2020 is almost wrapped up here, so we're looking forward to 2021. I know we saw the uh, Christmas season ago. I'm still repping the Christmas suit jacket. But uh, in 2021, we do have a huge, huge pay-per-view coming up. UFC 257 goes down on January the 23rd. Make sure you have that date circled. Today, I'm talking with somebody that's going to be fighting on that card. I'm talking to Amanda Hebos, who fights Marina Rodriguez on that card. So, uh... Let's bring Amanda in here. She's uh, excited for Christmas time as well. The Christmas uh, trees in the background there. Amanda, how you doing? Hello, hello, everybody. Yes, I'm here. It's the Christmas. <laughs> and hello. It's a pleasure to be here talking to you. Oh, well, Amanda, it's, it's our pleasure, really. It's always great to talk to you and hear what you have to say. And uh, let's get into your uh, your next fight here. So before we actually start getting into Marina as an opponent, I, I do want to bring attention. I'm sure everyone knows that they're familiar. You were supposed to fight actually in December against Carla Esparza. That fight didn't happen. Then it was Michelle Watterson. She pulled out. So just how frustrating was it to have two opponents pull out on you and you're constantly, you know, changing things up there in camp? It's not good because I start my camp and the preparation, but it's my life. Some, some, some shit, some, some time happen and I need to be prepared. Now I, I'm just thinking in Marina because she's really tough. She's number eight on my weight class rank. So I'm training so hard to fight against her that I, even thinking about Michelle or Carla now, right now. So, like, just how frustrating, though. I mean, like, talk about, like, just the changes in your camp. Because Carla's a, a heavy wrestler. Michelle's big into karate, obviously, the karate hottie. So, just, like, how tough is it for you, though? Like, you, you know, you're preparing for a wrestler. Then you got to transition going into a karate style. Uh, obviously, Marina's very, very well-versed. So just how, how tough was it just making all those changes? Yes, it is a little frustrating, but... I need to be prepared for everything. I need to train my wrestling. I need to train my jiu-jitsu, my striking. And it's good because Marina and Michelle was a little the same. A little the same because it's a stand-up fight. But yes, it's a little for same. But some, some things happen. And I believe God has plans, you know. So I'm... I'm uh, I'm happy with that. So now let's get into Marina a little bit here. Uh, I know you just briefly mentioned it, though, but uh, what have you seen in her as an opponent so far? And, uh, you know, kind of tell us a little bit about your preparation for her. Yes, she is, like I said, she's really tough. She's number eight. So I need to be prepared for her because she throw a lot of elbows. She throw kicks. But for my fight against her, I think I want to show more my striking too because my last fight I did my underground, I did my jiu-jitsu and my judo and for this fight I'm training so hard my striking so I want to, to show this to the, everybody too. So one of the interesting things too about this is she's a fellow Brazilian and I know that a lot of Brazilians kind of it's, it's, a, it's a tricky line fighting a fellow Brazilian, so kind of tell everybody about that. What was that like accepting an, a, um, a fight against an opponent from your same country? Yes, it's different because first first time I will fight against a 100% Brazilian because Mackenzie was 50-50, Brazilian too, but Marina, I never talked to her before. But yes, we are professionals, so now I'm looking for who is better than me in the rank. And Marina, she is. So I need to fight against her. I think the Brazilian people, Brazilian fellow, need to, to share for us to do a really great fight, not just for me or not just for her, but for both of us. Well, I'm sure that they're uh, definitely going to have their eyes tuned into it, just like all of us here in America are. We're really looking forward to seeing that fight. And uh, as you prepare for it, you're in Florida right now. You're down there in Coconut Creek at American Top Team. Uh, it's your first time there in a while, though, because coronavirus kind of had some, some things messed up. Your last camp you did uh, fully in Brazil. So what's it been like returning to, uh, to American Top Team and working out there for your first time in what's been a couple of months? Yes, I'm here. 
my last camp I did all my camp in my city. This time I'm here in America, top team. I'm really happy to be here because I feel good to training here. It is a lot of, there is a lot of champs there. There is a lot of fighters that will fight in the same day of me. So it's good. It's good. It's the same vibe. So it's a little different because doesn't have a lot of amateurs there. The last time was. This time is just pro training. So the vibe on the gym is always, eh, it's good that, you know, because I'm prepared for that, for the fight, because in the fight week, all the time is, everybody's looking, fight or fight, we fight. And in the gym is the same. So I'm really glad to be here. It will be the first time I will be my, my Christmas and my New Year. Uh, I'm not in home, but I, I think I have a goal. A more go like my fight. I will celebrate after that. <laughs> I hope so. I was going to say, plenty of time to celebrate uh, after the fight there. You have a whole rest of the year there to uh, celebrate and ring in 2021 and uh, be together with your family there. And I want to talk a, a little bit more, too, with American Top Team. Uh, the other day on your Instagram, I believe it was your Instagram, the, the, the photo's been all over the place. There's a couple of different people in the photo, but... I couldn't help but laugh. You were in a photo with Paige Van Zandt. You guys literally just fought in July. So what was that like training with somebody that you just fought? The, ah, that's amazing. The MMA is crazy because look that I was fight. I in the last game I was training to to fight against Paige, and now in this camp she's helping me. So this is amazing. It's so good, you know, because with that we can see it's a sport. It's professional. It's not feelings about, you know? So that's amazing for me. She is a great person. She has a really big heart. Not just the courage girl. She is a good person. It's That's good. And now another one of your teammates, too, that I want to talk about. Uh, is Dustin Poirier fighting on the same exact card as you, of course, in the main event. And I'm not sure if I said it in the beginning. I, if, I, if I didn't, I mean, how could I forget? The main event, Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. Talk about a huge event. Everybody, of course, is going to have their eyes tuned into that just because of Conor McGregor. So uh, just tell everybody a little bit about Dustin and, and what's it been like for him in camp so far. Yes, that will be a great fight big fight i think everyone wants to see this fight and i don't see him too much in the gym because i do my workout with the girls and the the mats and all the times we i just say hey hey and he hey hey because we are working you know <laughs> so those don't have too much time to talk and that's it but i mean sending good vibes for him because when i I am in the gym, he is too, so I know he's working hard. Yes, he is, and we're looking forward to seeing that main event, and uh, best of luck to Dustin as well. So uh, let's talk, though, a little bit about this card. Like I said a couple times now, huge card, mainly because you have Conor McGregor on it. What's it like for you to have this opportunity when there's going to be millions of people watching you on, on Saturday night? A lot of, you know, big time to pick up fans, uh, for people to notice you and your skill sets. So just tell everybody what this opportunity is like for you. This opportunity is big because the second time I will fight in UFC Fight Island, this time it not will be, it will be in a arena there. They they work out to arena, great arena. It will be big. It will be a huge event. And in the coming in the main event, the Conor McGregor, it's amazing. First time I will see him. <laughs> I never see him before. So I'm enjoying enjoy to the pictures, enjoy to the media, and enjoy my training too because I know. I need to be my 100% there because Marina will go for kill me. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're going to be bringing it to her as well. I'm sure it's not going to be a one-sided thing there. Um, Amanda, the other thing too, uh, a little bit what you were just saying there though, uh, this is your second time going over to Fight Island and the first time that you were over there, UFC 251 back in July, that was a huge card too. I believe that did over a million pay-per-view buys. So, you know, do you feel more comfortable now that you have this experience of 
not only fighting over there on Fight Island, like you just mentioned, but the fact that you were on such a big stage uh, just a couple months ago. Yes, yes, that's good for me because I was there before. So I know about the food, the, the hot, the sun, because there is really hot. <laughs> so for me now, the second time, I'm more prepared for the time too. So it's good. I, I, I like it, that place, you know. The people are so good. I, I like it. That's what all the fighters have been saying, that everybody over there in Abu Dhabi is uh, really nice, really down to earth. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get to check it out. Is, do you recommend that is Abu Dhabi a place that you definitely want to go and hang out in your free time? Oh, for sure. Really. Because it's not that people are good. The place is so beautiful, so expensive, you know. Every, every, everything. Until the knife is... You look at Mossa, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so yes, definitely I say to everybody to go to there to meet the places because it's beautiful. All right, Amanda, one last fight related thing that I have to ask you about. Uh, your last fight against Paige was at 125 pounds. Now you're back to straw weight here. Obviously, you're, you're ranked high up there. You're ranked number nine. A lot of people see you making this big run towards a championship in that division. Obviously, you can fight at two different weight classes there. What, what's the lot? And again, not to get too far ahead of ourselves. I know you're, you're focused on Marina right now, but long term, do you plan on staying at 115 for the time being and conquering that division before trying to move up and make a run there? Or do you want to keep going back and forth between the two different weight classes? Like you said, first of all, Marina. And 115. And then maybe, I hope so, if... God bless me, I won the belt, 115, and maybe later, 125. But if the UFC wants me in 125, I go, because it's good when you fight eating. <laughs> I like to eat, too. <laughs> hey, who doesn't like food, right? So... <laughs> So, uh, Amanda, one other thing too, just before you roll out, I, want to, I always give the fighters the opportunity here. You want to plug your social media, management, sponsors, anything like that, please feel free to do so. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for the opportunity. Because I think nobody comes to the top alone. So I want to say thank you for you to give me this opportunity to talk. I want to say thank you to all my sponsors. Go to my Instagram, people, please. <laughs> I'm one... I, é, Amanda UFC Ribas Amanda UFC Ribas I think so like this <laughs> my Twitter too and please send good vibes for me for my fight because this make all the difference and what I'm always saying be light in the darkness because when you do that you make difference so, <laughs> Amanda, my pleasure. Like I said in the beginning, it's it's great to talk to you, and uh, best of luck to you too at UFC 257. We're all looking forward to your fight, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again in the future. And in the meantime, everybody, as I remind you all the time, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can see more interviews just like this. And remember, keep going to my MMA news. Great content comes out there on a daily basis. We'll see you later, everybody.